acrobatics here. Today in this video, I have a tank from Avatar The Last Airbender. Although a smaller scale, this model is packed with detail and has a lot of functionality. Starting with the working drink tank treads, which are able to spin in opposite directions, which allow it to spin tank drive to the uh, grills and the different surfaces that make up the body and some of the realistic details in the real model. Up here is the cabin where they would shoot uh, their firebending out of the tank. Another cool feature of this tank that I decided to include, although it's not seen that often in the show, I think only once, it's still a really cool feature and adds a large amount of playability to the model. And best way to describe this is to flip the tank over. And so how this works is if the tank were to be uh, flipped over on its side, if it was shot down, all it would have to do is rotate its body like so. And now the tank's ready for battle once again. Two last things I wanted to note quick is the um, detailing on the underneath. And so if the tank is flipped over, you still have a large amount of detailing. So the tank looks good in either orientation. Another thing I wanted to point out is you may notice that this is a bit of a strange connection in the way that the axle here doesn't stick all the way through. You'd think that that would cause for a weak wheel base, but it's actually pretty strong. And the reason for that is if I just take off the tread, you can see this round um, plate here that I used. The reason that I used this piece is because these four um, holes in the gear are able to f fit right into these studs, like so. And that creates a very secure connection for the model. The way I built this is I started with the wheelbase because I knew the only gear I could use was this gear simply because I wanted it to be a darker color and I wanted to use this tread system. And so really the whole model built around the size of these gears. And so keeping the scaling was really important to me um, and keeping it at an accurate scale to the real thing so that the proportions were all correct. But I think it turned out really well having a very small scale, but still very detailed and uh, fun to play with tank from Avatar The Last Airbender. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you want to see more, more like this, robotics and reviews, consider subscribing to Job Robotics. Thanks for watching.